All right, Annalise and I's favorite combination is when you have cyclists and diabetics together. And so we are here with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund riding team, or JDRF, here in San Diego. So we're just going on a quick ride, so about 10 miles out, 10 miles in. And that's going to try to grab some people and share some tips for anyone that wants to get into cycling with diabetes. Um, because this is such an open, welcoming group that's across the nation, so you probably have a chapter available to you. With that, let's uh, dive in. Hi guys, I'm Tu. Uh, I work at JDR San Diego and we're here on a group ride right now. It's really dangerous to ride with headphones in when you're on the road or any kind of bike path when you're riding, so a good alternative is to get one of these handy dandy cell phone bike mounts and I just play my Spotify straight and out loud loud enough so I can hear but not like my other bicyclist friends and that gets me motivated and going and gets me through those hard hills you know <laughs> <laughs> nice I'm Karen. Andy and I have type 1 diabetes I just celebrated my 16th anniversary a couple weeks ago just the basics really I mean I got my um tester pen and uh my wallet my car keys and then somewhere with my lifeline with glucose roll that's about it pretty straightforward <laughs> sweet thanks andy <laughs> yep I'm Pat Schotzlein, uh, JDRF coach here in San Diego. I, uh, my connection to type 1 is my daughter Cameron. She's uh, 18 years old and had this disease for five years. Uh, my cycling tip would be to uh, ride with a, with a mirror. It gives you great road awareness and uh, it lets you know when, when things are sneaking up behind you without constantly turning around and losing your line on the road. So it allows you to keep both hands on the wheel or the, the handlebars all the time. This guy's cruising. Woo! Yeah! Enjoy your ride! <laughs> Alright, also a really quick tip is that I just shared my location for the day with Scott and so he was just tracking us, sat down for like 45 minutes and got caught up with us at the end of the day so if you're ever meeting someone and you're cycling around just share your location on an iPhone and then you're able to find them and hang out for the rest of the day so super, easy. <laughs> super duper easy I had a chance to start digging into this amazing book and the new version of Dr. Sherry Kohlberg's The Athlete's Guide to Diabetes so, so far so good. It is jam-packed with information and I'm learning so much already. And look, I'm only like, what is this? 20 pages in. So uh, grab your copy. Uh, I'll be doing a review of it ASAP, but I've got, I've got lots left to, to dig through. So can't wait. Yeah, champ. <laughs> If you are considering riding, getting into it or anything, just know this is one of the friendliest communities you could possibly enter. You don't really need to have certain knowledge, a certain bike or anything. You just have to bring your enthusiasm and that's something that I have truly learned this past year. So uh, we're uh, having pizzas on the grill for dinner, good to carb up. Tomorrow, Annalise and I are heading out towards Phoenix. Um, but if you are biking this year, let me know in the comments below. Just leave a little bike symbol. Let me know what races or rallies you've signed up for. And if you have any tips to share, uh, leave them with the community so we can all learn from each other. With that, remember you can go anywhere, do anything. See you, everyone. Well, at least it's starting. Doesn't look bad. I'm not seeing any. Do you see any ants or beetles? 